guys and welcome to a new video. I am here to go over the books that I have read for the month of August and I am sorry for the light glare. I can't do anything about this light up here and yeah I just wanted to go ahead and get this video uploaded um, since while I had the motivation to actually record something. But for the month of August, I've read 15 books in total, which is pretty good. I've been doing pretty good each month about the number of books that I have been reading, and the star ratings of them have all been pretty good as well. So I'll just go over them real quick. The first book is Destroy Me by Tahira Mafi. I gave this book three stars. This is the one of the novellas in the Shatter Me series that comes in between book one and book two that follows Warner's perspective and you get a little bit more of his backstory in this book. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, didn't really, for me, it added a little bit to, to more to the storyline, but not a whole lot. Um, Book two is Fire Magic by Josine, Josephine Water or Winters, excuse me. I gave this three stars. This was a NetGalley arc that I had gotten for review that I should have reviewed a while ago, but this is part of a collection of witchcraft books that is based on the different elements. And this book breaks down the fire element with the different symbolisms like what creatures, herbs, and stones um, can correspond with the fire element that you can use in your practice. And it, it really gave me a lot of good information that I can use in my practice in the future. I reviewed or uh, looked through a top-down colorwork knit sweaters by Winky Muller. I gave that three and a half stars. Um, this is just a pattern book of full of knitting patterns that goes over different color work patterns um, and designs in all the charts from what I could see. And the the e arc that I was um, given for review it was really clear. The photographs were done really well. It made the details of the patterns really stand out. And I. I used to be a really big into doing color work and knitting myself. I, there was a while that I was doing pretty much almost a color work project every single day. Um, kind of burnt myself on, on it a little bit, but these really kind of had scratched that itch for me and made me kind of want to get back into doing some color work projects in the future. Next is Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. I gave this three and a half stars. This was the late night bookworming book club's pick for the month of July. I had thought it was um, went pretty well. I believe I liked it a little bit more than Shatter Me. I did feel like the storyline picked up from the beginning. I know it was kind of a um, like a mixed bag kind of book for a lot of the ladies that was on the live. Some liked it, some didn't. So it definitely was a mixed reaction. I had listened to the 37 hour audiobook that is A Clash of Kings by George R.R. R. Martin. I gave it three and a half stars and I do believe going down the audiobook route really helped me this time around instead of reading it physically or by ebook like I did with the first book, it definitely helped it um, go by. This is the second book in the Song of Ice and Fire series or um, otherwise known as the Game of Thrones series. I definitely am not in love with the series. I'm interested in seeing how it goes. So I will pick up the third book sometime in the future may not be anytime soon, but I can see myself picking it up in the future. I listened to Sandry's book by Tamora Pierce and gave it four stars. This was a full cast audiobook that was handled really well, and Tamora Pierce actually narrated um, the in between, like the non dialogue bits of it, and I really enjoyed it. Tamora Pierce is a favorite author of mine. She really is the reason why I got into reading fantasy at a young age. So I will pick up really pretty much anything of her books and would really enjoy them. I read Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders, gave it three and a half stars. This is a book that is a historical fiction, like literary fiction that follows 
the um, death of uh, President Lincoln's son Willie and a cast of different ghosts that kind of lends their commentary about how they see how President Lincoln is handling his grief. Um, it is set up as a kind of like a play style formatting as the audiobook, um, which would lend more to the audio, like the audiobook, it being read as an audiobook than reading it physically, in my opinion. I wish I had gotten the my hands on a copy of the audiobook and had listened to it instead because I've heard such great things about this book as an audiobook with its full cast of like different celebrities helping narrate the book. So I am pretty disappointed that I didn't get my hands on a copy of that. But I will probably give it another go as an audiobook sometime in the future and then really see how I enjoy it. But um, for an ebook like set up as a play style, it's not too bad. I read Die Volume 1 by Karen Gillian, gave it three and a half stars. This is the author that has written the Wicked and Divine series that I had finished reading previously, like earlier in the year. This series follows a group of kids who, I believe it's in the 80s, who create their own RPG game. It's kind of like Stranger Things mixed with Jumanji in like one story. Is this what what this graphic novel reminds me of? And they have to like, um, once they get transported into the world, they have to fight their way back kind of thing. Um, I thought it was interesting. I just didn't think it was really original because of the pop culture references that's in it and the the two references I had mentioned. Um, I'll give it another try, like a volume two a try, and then kind of really decide if I want to continue the series or not. But as of right now, I'm not entirely wowed. I listened to The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I gave that four stars. I definitely see why a lot of people like this book. Um, it's definitely got some beautiful writing in it. The audiobook was done really well and the narrators did a really good job. And anything that has to do with magic and like a magical competition tends to be right up my alley. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you are interested. And then I had spent a Saturday reading a few graphic novels. I sometimes every so often I want to just spend a day like strictly reading graphic novels sometimes. And since I hosted the Witchathon round two, Reading all these books in the month of August kind of helped me like get a little bit more motivation and I just wanted to add some more page count for my team. So I decided to read some graphic novels. Um, the first being Betty Page in the Curse of the Banshee by Stephen Mooney. I gave that four stars. This follows the infamous pinup Betty Page as she's kind of like an X-Files agent where she investigates UFO sightings and anything that has to do with strange magical creatures that aren't supposed to be in our universe but happens to cross the barriers between realms. She is the one to call when you have questions and she goes and investigates this. Um, it was definitely a fun graphic novel that I got from Kindle Unlimited and I highly recommend it if you want something pretty fun to read. And in that same vein I read Betty Page, The Princess and the Pinup by David Avalon. I gave that three and a half stars. This has her um, trying to solve a mystery about who is trying to, or who kidnapped the Queen of England. And that was a pretty like interesting one to read and it was very entertaining. Um, then in between the Betty Page stuff, I had read reread The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina by Robert Aguera Sacasa. I gave this four and a half stars. This is like the third time I've read this graphic novel. So um, it didn't keep its five star ratings because now that I know more about witchcraft from my studies and stuff like that, I, there's some things I can pinpoint that I, I don't quite agree with but it's still a interesting read and had been pretty entertaining, especially for a spooky time when I'm living for, I want this fall weather to come now and any time I can get some, any kind of spooky vibes, I'll be happy. So I reread that. 
The second to the last book I read is Betty Page Unbound by David um, Avalon. I give this four stars. This is, you know, you're following Betty Page as she tries to collect the keys to save the realm. Um, and that's pretty much it without going into too much detail. And the last book I read is A Mystical Practical Guide to Magic by Eliza in Horn. I gave this four stars. This was another arc that I got from NetGalley for review. Um, this is more tarot fo focused um, than it is other parts of the witchcraft um, side of the community and stuff like that. Um, it definitely has quite a few great tips for those of you who are just starting to dip your toes into the witchcraft world and would like to kind of ease yourself into it. So I do recommend this book if you just kind of want to just gradually like enter into that world. But altogether, I read 15 books and I had a pretty good reading month, like ratings wise, and nothing got below a three stars. I didn't have any five stars or new any new favorite reads, unfortunately, but I kept it as a pretty average of doing like three and a half star three to three and a half three stars. So I can't complain too much. And Witchathon really kind of kicked my butt into gear to get all these books read um, during the month, and it's kind of biting me in the butt a little bit for the month of September. But hey, -o. Um, let me know in the comments below which of these books that you have read or what you're interested in reading and leave me a like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with any new videos that I happen to come out with and if you don't have anything to say but you want to let me know that you are here leave me a black heart emoji because I am ready for the spooky season and black hearts are pretty spooky so and until the next guy, uh, video, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.